is Baby Glock, and today I'm going to take you guys along my day to day. Me and my dad are going to go on a hunting expedition, a gear hunting expedition to Cabela's. So, let's get this hunt started. <laughs> Fairy's already gotten stuck five times. No thank you, I'd rather be here. So today we are going to be gear hunting for different gears, like backpacks, maybe some knives, maybe playing a little game. I don't want to say anything too soon, but we may play a game in the store. Because I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> it's on my bucket list. So, okay. let's go ahead. This is a pretty cool tent. Even got oh, little. Disgusting. And yeah, unfortunately, this is probably not a very good selling point. <laughs> Being full of water. Although the rest of it does look extremely cool. All right, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Baby Glock. Baby Glock. Baby Glock. When you're facing that way, we can't hardly hear you. <laughs> like I said, um, last time I was like this for this video, I was gonna start in the tractor because last time I could go in it. That's not the case anymore. <laughs> This is part of the fun, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, of coming to Cabela's. It's you get to play. <laughs> and litter, obviously. These are very low seats. Well, it's a boat. They're supposed to be. Still, that's for this kind of boat. Someone who's four, four. It's not a, a thick boat. <laughs> it's not very deep, so it's not doesn't have far to go. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, for only basically forty-one thousand dollars, this could be yours. I ain't got that kind of money, <laughs> but it sure is nice to dream. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the four wheelers. So I gotta admit, I do have two dreams. One, to own enough land to have one of these. Man, this thing is cool. And then, of course, to have one of these. <laughs> Man, these things are awesome. <laughs> What's the matter? It didn't go anywhere? And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you. This is the screaming you're hearing. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. And then speedometer. Don't know what that does. Um, glove compartment that I can't really open. They can put your guns in and your gloves. Yeah. Mostly. And plenty of controls, huh? Mm-hmm. And then this one is the go pedal. This one's the stop pedal. Or am 
I get in the mix up. Which one did you say? This one is the go pedal. Yes. And this one is the stop pedal. Right? The brake, yeah. I want one. And this can only be yours. If any of you watching out there, you want to give us one. And this <laughs> can be yours for $10,000. All you have to do is go on to Family Feud. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Alright, you ready to go inside and do some real gear hunting? Sure. Oh. Got my AR-15 spatula. <laughs> what every outdoorsman needs when barbecuing. Highly flammable. <laughs> I want one. Just like you want one of these. Wait, it smells like... It smells like ribs. I want one of these so That's badly. Kind of cool. I mean, it really is. <laughs> Metal detector by Treasure Tech. So yeah, I really want one of these. And also, we are, like I said, we're in the barking cave. And I found the craziest thing ever, if I can find it. Oh yeah, this. It's like fuzzy camouflage. Looks warm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The fitting rooms for handicap. Ooh, why are they selling these at the bargain cave? I mean, seriously, flowers at Cabela's. Doesn't smell used. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a uno momento. I don't know about y'all. I want one of those. How much is it? Only six crowns. Fifty seven hundred dollars. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. Catch me! I don't want to get eaten by a shark! Put your feet down. No, they're sharks! Oh. Okay. Daddy, it's time to wake up! I got the fire going. I got the fire going. Mm. I smell something good. I can't lift it up. I can't lift up you can't open the, fire. the lid. You can't open the fire. But the fire is so warm. Feel it. Oh yeah, I feel the fire. Toasty. Not. Oh, this is cool. Camp Chef Pro 60. Look, two burner stoves. Ooh, shiny. Okay, back up a little bit so you can see. I know. Just showing them all the gears and everything inside. The cam chef. It's a winner every time. Say that again. It's a winner every time. 
Oh yeah. Never used it. <laughs> <laughs> I got some bad news, guys. My father has lost his glasses. They are very expensive ones, so let's hope they find them very, very quickly. Good news, guys. We found his sunglasses. They were in the tent when he was sleeping. That's why you always need to take off your sunglasses while you are sleeping. That's a lesson. So, yeah. We're looking at flashlights at the moment. Those are the kind that police officers carry. In our area, anyway. Yeah. 350 lumens. It's a lot. And then these. A lot of flashlights. And a tactical nut. And a lot of flashlights. A lot of flashlights. <laughs> and some lanterns over here. So yeah. Got anything to say? When you lay down in a tent, make sure you pick your sunglasses up when you leave. <laughs> hey guys, baby Bach here. Uh, we just ordered some very delicious food. Macaroni and cheese, mine. Whatever those are. And Doritos are also mine. No, yeah, the Doritos are mine. His popcorn nut has his. And he also has a hot dog with mustard and ketchup. It's cheese. Same thing. Not even close to the same thing. Oh, okay, <laughs> Because I hate mustard. There's no lids. He does. I hate mustard too. My phone's gone in your shop. Hey, baby Glock. Yeah? You want to play a game? A game? I'm in. All right. Guess what had to come that got me? What? It's a puppy! Oh wait. Guess what had to come that got me? A puppy paw! It's so cute! And it's made of chocolate! My favorite. I'm glad you're happy. Tactical nut. Truth or dare? Truth. Okay. Have you ever? I don't know. Have I ever? Um. I'm gonna go with a maybe. Kissed a bear. A real bear? Sure. Would it be weird if I said yes? Yes. Then no, no, never kissed a bear. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. Dear. Okay. Baby Glock. Okay, stop. <laughs> I'm so excited. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to walk down this aisle quacking and acting like a duck. <laughs> This was your game. I can't hear you. <laughs> Truth or dare? Truth. Have you? What was the youngest age that you ever kissed somebody? In the garden. Seriously? Well, a girl kissed me. She kind of forced me to. <laughs> Did you pay you? Nope. Oh, then I feel bad for you. We were on the playground at school. Oh, okay. My turn. Since we're in the ammunition. <laughs> okay, baby Glock. Truth or dare? Dare. 
I dare you to growl like a bear at the bear <laughs> loudly. I right, gotta do better than that. <laughs> Go ahead. Like what? Like oh, just louder. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that'll work. Tactical nut. Uh -huh. Do you choose truth or dare? Dare. Finally, I dare you to go up to an employee of the firearm section and say, Do you guys sell guns? We can't do that. Fine. I told you we can't do was it involved employees. Fine. To, um, looking at this for inspiration. Pretend like you're on the phone and then yell at it and say, This stupid piece of junk! <coughs> very, very loudly. Very loudly. Like this kind of phone? No, like your actual My phone. Actual phone? Oh yeah? Really? Uh -huh. What? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Stupid piece of junk! <laughs> okay, baby Glock. Truth or dare? Truth. What's your biggest fear when we're out camping? Oh, get um. Just in general. Like at Crowders? Yeah. At Crowders. I'm afraid that I will fall off the mountain like that lake did. I am so afraid <laughs> that I will just fall off, land face first, and get a concussion or even die like she did. Well, good to know. Don't fall off the mountain. Okay. Oh, and I have one more thing to say. I thought truths were like. Your first kiss was mine. But never mind, I like that one. It could be anything. Okay. And you should not have had a first kiss yet. So we can't ask you that. Right? Sure. Okay, baby Glock. Truth or dare? Truth. Hmm. Were you thinking of a dare? Yeah, I was trying to. <laughs> What's your most embarrassing moment? That you can There's remember. A lot. Um, um, <laughs> it's like there's so many, but you can't. It feels like there's so many, but you can't remember any. Um, can you give me something to spark my memory back? I don't know. Well, like, something in school. So there's this boy that I really liked, and he was just sitting here, you know, trying to act all cool and acting with him. And I was like, "Do you like anybody?" And he's like, "No, not in particular." And my mind, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "It was very embarrassing for me because you wanted him to say you." I wanted to say, "Well, a girl," and I might have. Been, huh. I'm not gonna say who I like because that would be embarrassing because the whole YouTube world would know. True. Cool. Okay, baby clocks, show them what we got on our hunting expedition. Well, for my dad, we got this Eaton tool. It says it on there, Eaton tool. Designed by Leong Ma. It's a lightweight spoon and fork and a multi-tool. It has a bottle opener, screwdriver, fry tip, metric wrenches, and it has stainless steel. Cool. And what'd you get? I got a multi tool myself. And it has scissors on it. Ooh. 
all my dads don't have that, so that's always a plus. Yeah. I may have to try one of those out, too. All right, guys, we are heading home. We are done with the gear hunting and playing around at Cabela's. And so, just like all things, the fun has to come to an end. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll be back. At least it's not far away. All right, guys. In the meantime. Prepare. And have fun.